Hey guys, Cameron here from IR.C Media. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a cool transforming spine like object. Um, as seen on my background, um, pretty much for this tutorial, all we'll be using is Cinema 4D, so let's open that up right now. Alright, so pretty much we want to go up to the REN settings up here. We're going to change the output to film slash video, HDV, HDTV, 720, 29.97. Um, we want to go to save. We want to change the format to PNG. Make sure alpha channel is ticked. Change it to whatever you want to call it. And then exit. Alright, so pretty much what we're going to do here is just add a text object from MoGraph text object. Um, for the one on my background, um, I used lots of eyes, so pretty much what we want to do is type in that four or five eyes. We want to change the depth to 80. We're going to go to the font. The font that I've used is Batman Forever, so let's use that for this tutorial. Make sure you have some fillet caps on. Just um, the radius can be five. That's all. Um, now, pretty much what we're gonna do here to make it kind of like randomish, transformish. Um, pretty much, what we want to do is just go here to explosion and drag it down. Now uh, we're gonna click on the explosion and make sure that the strength is just up a little bit make sure the angle speed, this is the key part of this, is make sure that that is kind of like tilted so it makes it look like it's moving, um, so pretty much you might want to just adjust this around, add like, don't use I, sorry, use L's, L's are a lot better. Sorry, I should have told you that before. If you use L's, it looks a lot cleaner. It's pretty much... You can just adjust this around. Make sure that the... Just, just adjust it like that. And then that should be okay. Now we want to go back here and we're going to add a twist. Drag it back down, make sure the mode is switched to unlimited. Now you can move this around, but I like leaving this just on the end. I'm gonna change the angle kind of just a little bit so it looks like it's a little bit bigger on one side. And then we're going to go back up here and add the bulge. Make sure that's to unlimited and put this in the center and put the strength up just a little bit and then as you can see here it's kind of like what's on my background it's not exactly the same you can just add any of these up here up here like we can add like a bend like this we can bend it around I guess stuff like that but I'm not gonna do that um, so pretty much to get the effect like on mine, I used Grayscale Gorilla Light Kit Pro. If you don't have this, um, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube to get it for free. Um, once you do that, you'll be able to do this. If not, you'll just have to add a light, you know, just all the stuff you're used to. But pretty much, if you have this, we're going to be using a ring light and an overhead softbox. So, import those. And if we have a look now, we're starting to get this transformish metallic look. Um, so we're going to create another ring light again by using Control C, Control V, and drag it down like that. And that's kind of giving not what I hoped. 
but it's still looking it's still looking all right so we'll leave it like that now we can add a metallic color just a just a gray with a reflection and it's not going to be exactly the same as mine but i think i used um oh, i think i used a uh, one from a website like a an actual carbon fiber one so um see so it's not exactly the same but it's pretty close so that's that's all right so pretty much cuz you've already done this up in here already png alpha thing all you have to do is render that out import that in the photoshop and there you go, so hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Um, remember you can do this with any text like that. Um, so pretty much, hopefully that tutorial was helpful. Make sure to um, give it a like, and comment if you would like any other tutorials. Cheers.